Art has been a part of Steve Sedra's life since he was a kid growing up in the Bronx. Art was everywhere. Art was moving, it was on walls, and uh, one man's trash was another man's treasure. The passion went with him when he came out west for college, but Steve soon discovered some harsh realities about making art a career choice. We're the most underappreciated talent out there. Yeah, you know, you can record a record and sell that record a million times. I can only do one painting. That's it, that's all I got. A freak accident left Steve immobile for two months. He lost his job, insurance, and whatever money he had. A phone call from his brothers changed his fortunes. Oh, hey, these guys in Harlem, they taking these airbrushes and they're painting on these people's shoes. People coming out of the store and they paint on them and they give them 80 bucks to get their name on them. He's like, why don't you paint on shoes? And my man, I'm in bed. He's like, put it on your chest. And a niche was born. People were like, I'll pay you a couple bucks for that. And it started off, you know, hey, I'll pay you for this, pay you for that, small little jobs, basic colors, stuff like that. Unique designs, all carefully hand-painted, have rappers, professional athletes, and other celebs paying $400 to $1,000 to have their shoes customized. We have one shoe out of the billions and billions of, you know, people that walk the planet. We have one, one of a kind. Not a bad gig for a poor kid from the Bronx. There was always kids with better stuff. So I was like, ah, you know, one day I'll have nice, I'll have nice kicks too. I didn't think I'd be painting them, but you know, it came, it came true. Ron Tawatangaloa, 10 News.